Your story is very timely because it's the winter months that we see a spike in dryer fryers. And, and, and what uh, research has shown us, it's typically because there's heavy gar heavier garments being used in the dryer. It's, it's sweatshirts and blue jeans today, when in the summer it was uh, t-shirts and shorts. So it's those heavier garments that cause a bigger buildup of lint. Every one of the folks that are watching the story ought to go check their, check their dryers and check their appliances. Check all their appliances for, for uh, cleanliness. We talked earlier about sometimes you find a lint buildup even behind the appliance or even under a refrigerator or freezer you'll get, you'll get dirt buildup in, in because it's moving air all the time. So it, uh, most folks think they can just simply take that first level of lint, uh, filter out, clean that and everything is fine. But that lint goes beyond that filter. That it's, these, these fibers are so small and the lint is so small and so dry that they travel oftentimes behind and beyond and around that first catch and get into the dryer, get into the, the line that, that leads outside the house. So that entire system needs to be cleaned out. So it's important to make sure you start at the dryer, work through the dryer, you know, pull the dryer out, clean it off, vacuum underneath it, vacuum behind it, and make sure the entire area stays clean, including that ductwork that goes to the exterior part of the house.